About 20% of patients with myelofibrosis will transform to acute myeloid leukemia. Many patients who have primary myelofibrosis have mutations in particular genes which have led them to this disease. Commonly, mutations in a gene called JAK2, mutations in a gene called CalR, can lead toward the development of myelofibrosis. But over time, as patients have myelofibrosis, other mutations may occur. Uh, common ones include TET2, ASXL1, IDH2. These are all mutations that can occur um, in patients in addition to JAK2 or to CalR mutations. With the accumulation of these different mutations, sometimes there is something that sparks the development of acute leukemia or of a, the growth of the more immature cells. When this happens in patients with primary myelofibrosis, um, it's a very, very serious disease. It's harder to treat than in a patient who has no underlying hematologic illness and develops acute myeloid leukemia. And the goal for those patients always is to go to bone marrow transplant for cure.